Hello science people. Today I want to talk to you guys about experimentation, specifically control groups and experimental groups. So let me give you an example. So let's say I create a pill that causes bald guys to regrow hair. So this pill, I need to test it before I can start selling it to people. So what I do is I get a hundred bald guys together and I give them this pill. And they take this pill and they grow 3% of their hair back. Well, can I now say that this pill regrows hair? I mean, they did grow 3% of their hair back, so does my pill regrow hair? We don't know. And the reason we don't know is because that was an experimental group, but I didn't have a control group. What I mean by this is whenever we do an experiment, there has to be a comparison. You have to have an experimental group that you can compare to a control group. The control group is usually going to be a group where nothing has changed. This is where you've probably heard of the term placebo. And so we create a sugar pill or a fake pill, and then we'll give some people the fake pill and some people the experimental pill, and we need to see if there's a significant difference between the two. So let's try this again. So I have my control group that's going to take the fake pill, and I have my experimental group that will take the pill that I claim regrows hair. So I give 100 people my experimental pill, and I give 100 people a fake pill. At the end, it turns out everyone regrew 3% of their hair. What? Why did that happen? Well, it turns out that a lot of times a placebo will have a small effect. We're not sure why. Maybe it's just because you think something's gonna happen, and because you're thinking something's gonna happen, your body chemicals get excited, and they react to this expectation, and so maybe that causes you to regrow some of your hair. And so, if the fake pill regrew 3% hair, and the, the, my experimental pill regrew 3% hair, what that really means is, my pill didn't do anything. And this is why we have to have a comparison. That's why we have to have a control group compared to an experimental group. We also have to rule out variables. A variable is something that could affect your experiment. Let me provide you an example by eliminating variables. So let's say that I want to test whether or not plants grow better with water or soda. We can probably guess, but let's say that this is our experiment. So I plant some seeds. I put the plants inside my classroom and I give one soda and I give one water. And it turns out both of them die. Well, does that mean that plants don't like water or soda? Well, I was missing something. In my classroom, it's dark. And so there was no sunlight. And so I was missing the variables that the plant normally grows in, the conditions it's used to. So you need to provide the normal conditions that normally take place and then you change only one variable. That one variable would be the soda compared to the water. You need to make sure that you're testing as few variables as possible. You wanna try for only one variable.